Hey everyone, welcome to Extreme Live. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Let me tell you something about us. Here at Extreme, we love to talk about real life issues that impact children all around the world. And we discover more about God and how his word applies in every situation. That's right. And let me introduce you to my cool, awesome, amazing friend, JJ. And this is my dishonest, backstabbing, and destructive friend, Pastor Mike. Yeah, you... What? JJ, I mean, where... Where did you where did you get that from, JJ? You know where it came from. You know exactly what you did. Actually, I I don't. I have no idea what that what it came from, JJ. Honestly, we've been best friends for years. And those are some pretty strong words. I can't believe you're well, saying something to well, me. Well, like that's that. over. Our friendship is over. Speaking of that, I have a new best friend, and his name is Marty. Hold on, JJ, you you have a new best friend? But wait, JJ, we are best friends. Hold up, hold up. It's done. It's over. It's finito. <sighs> well, JJ, do you think you can get through today without being upset? Well, yeah, I can. I mean, yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. Well, tell you what. I want to give a special extreme shout out to two of my friends, Cadence and Jalen. Yeah, yeah. And I want to give a shout out to some real friends from like real trustworthy friends, consistent friends, loving, caring, true definition of friends, Terry and Sarai. Just saying, what's up? And uh, and I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for being real friends. <sighs> JJ, let's talk about this. What is going on? I, well, uh, I just, I just need some time. Okay, tell you what, why don't we pray and do praise and worship, then when we come back, you could tell me what's happening. All right, everyone, close your eyes, bow your heads and fold your hands. Let's open up in prayer and thank God for giving us this beautiful day. Dear God, we are so gracious for today. We're so thankful. Thank you for loving us and caring for us and giving us the ability to be able to move our hands and our feet and have an amazing time. Help today to be great. Help us to learn a lot more about you. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Right. Now, over to praise and worship. We'll be right back. Let's worship together, everybody. Yes. Come on, put your hands together like this. Here we go. Oh, oh, We're going to talk about the name oh, of Jesus. Oh, the name that's greater than oh, every other day. Freeze it. 
worship is always so much fun. I absolutely love the hand movements for the songs. Yeah, man, those are those are great. They're awesome. But let's not forget that praise and worship is our chance to thank God for his love towards us. It's our chance to thank him for providing us with food and clothes and even giving us a place to stay. That's true. And, oh yeah, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, JJ, come on, not this again. Man, we're, we're, we're friends, man, seriously. What is going on? Tell me what's happening. What's happening? This, Pastor Mike, this is what's happening. I'm mad, you're such a bad friend. You destroyed my pinky bear and <laughs> never apologized. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I destroyed your what? Pinky bear. You call your bear Binky? Are you serious? Binky bear? What's a Binky bear? Pastor Mike, that's not funny. Remember that day when you came over to my house? How can I forget? We had so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. You fell asleep on my couch. You were even drooling. Oh, oh hold on, JJ. I wasn't drooling. Yeah, yes you were. You even passed gas. Hey, hold, hold, hold it right there. No, no. I wasn't drooling, and I didn't pass gas. Yes, yes you did. Who's telling the story? I am. Now, back to the story. So you were drooling on my couch, and you passed gas. When it was time to get up, you told everyone bye, and... And that's when I found him. My Binky. My Binky Bear. Destroyed. I couldn't believe my eyes. He would never be able to walk again. He would never be able to talk again. He's destroyed. And it's all your fault. You're not even listening to my story. You're such a bad friend. Well, well, well ho ho hold on, hold on, JJ. I I I'm truly sorry. I didn't even know I was sitting on Binky. You didn't just sit on him. You passed gas on him. <laughs> I, I didn't even know I passed gas on Binky. First you destroyed him. Now you're destroying my feelings. You are such a bad friend. I can't believe it. We're, we've been friends all these years. What, what is going on? Like, I, don't, I don't know. Woo. JJ is really upset with me. And to be honest with you, I had no idea I was going to destroy his binky bear. I feel horrible about this. Let me ask you something. Do you have a best friend? You do? What's your best friend's name? Well, let me ask you this. Have you and your best friend ever had an argument before? Yeah, me too. And as you can see, JJ and I are going through a little something. But I don't believe just because you and your best friend may argue from time to time, or you may have a disagreement about something, that you're a bad friend. Honestly, I think it is okay that you guys may disagree. You know what? I got it. I'm going to give JJ the bad friend quiz. Oh, you don't know what the bad friend quiz is? Watch this. Oh my gosh. And, and his gas smell like cheese. Like I said, like old cheese. JJ. Like not Swiss cheese. Like just like pure nasty JJ. old cheese. What? I mean, I mean, come on. Are you going to destroy something else like of mine? I mean, are you going to destroy something else that's really, really, really important to me? Well, well, actually, JJ, I want to say I'm sorry. I realized Binky Bear was really, really important to you, and for me to destroy him, I am really sorry about that. You are? Yeah. We've been best friends for years, and the last thing I want to do is throw away our friendship over something like this. You, you, you don't? You, you must think I'm a bad friend for getting so upset and yelling at you. Actually, I don't. Tell you what. Let's take the bad friend quiz. The what? The best friend quiz? No, the bad friend quiz. I have a set of questions that I usually ask myself when I want to determine if I've chosen a good friend or a bad friend. Now, I usually don't write these questions down, but for today, I can make an exception. Let me grab my clipboard. Okay, the bad friend quiz. Is there anything that you need me to grab? Nope. Let's just remember to be honest. When we answer these questions, let's answer them honestly. Now, here's the thing. You won't get a grade at the end of the quiz, but by the end, you should know if you've chosen a good friend or a bad friend. Question number one. Who is your best friend? 
Well, you are. I mean, uh, well, you were before you totally destroyed my binky. <laughs> well, you're still my best friend, JJ. On to question number two. Question number two. Does your best friend give you good advice? Uh, yeah. Remember that time when I was really, really upset with my mom? You helped me calm down and told me to tell her how I felt without being disrespectful. Oh yeah, I do remember that time. And you know what, JJ? I would say yes too. You always give me great advice, especially when it comes to things at school. Question number three. Does your best friend have your back? Most definitely. When those kids were talking about me behind my back and laughing at my shoes, you didn't join in. You actually stood up for me and told them to stop. That's right. You're my friend, JJ. And you know what? You have my back too. I know for sure you will be honest with me even if you feel like it may hurt my feelings. You tell me the truth. You will not let me walk out the house wearing clothes that do not match. Are you ready for our final question, JJ? Yeah. Question number four, our final question is this. Does your best friend encourage you to do what is right or what is wrong? Oh, that's a great question, Pastor Mike. You always encourage me to do what is right, even when I don't want to. I would say the same thing. You always tell me to do what is right. You help me make the right choice so I can stay out of trouble. Cool, that was fun. Do we have any more questions? Nope, that was it, JJ. Let's check to see how we did, okay? We have four questions, four total. Question number one. Uh -huh. Who's my best friend? Uh, me, me, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we both said, so that's a check. Okay, yeah, good, yeah. good, good. Okay, question number two. Does your best friend give you good advice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, check, yeah, check that one. Good. Yep, so that's, that's another check, that's two for two. Okay, good, good, good. Question number three. Does your best friend have your back? Yep. Oh, yep, most, yep, yep, he does. Yeah, most definitely. So that's another check. Oh, that's check. good, JJ. Okay, good, good, good. The final question. Uh -huh. Question number four. Does your best friend encourage you to do what is right or what is wrong? Uh, what is right? I say what is right. Yeah, we both said that. So that's another yeah. check. So what do you think? How do you think we did? We passed. We did great. Yeah. We should definitely remain friends. Yeah. What do you think? I, I would love to. Where'd you get the bad friend quiz from anyway? The Bible. I mean, you're, you're not going to open up the Bible or the Bible app and find something labeled bad friend quiz, but you can find a lot of verses that deal with finding a good friend or you being a good friend. Wow. Can you name some? Oh, most definitely. Look up Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. That verse talks all about how you, as a good friend, should give good advice. And if you're in the book of Proverbs, don't forget to check out 17, verse 17. It talks about how a good friend loves at all times and he has your back. Wow, what about a verse that talks about someone encouraging you to do what's right uh -huh. versus what's wrong? Oh, oh, check out Proverbs chapter 1, verses 10 through 19. That talks all about how we should do or encouragement to do what is right versus what's wrong. Okay, I'm gonna use the bad friend quiz for all my friends. You know what, JJ? That's a great idea. I believe friendships are so important. The people who you spend the most time with, ask for advice, and tell all of those important details, oh man, they can have such a major impact on your life. Wow. Yeah, that's right. And, and you know what else? Your friends should show you love and have your back no, no matter what. They should give you great advice. They should, even when they make mistakes, ask for forgiveness and try their best to make peace. On top of all of that, your friends should encourage you to do what is right. You know what I like to say? I like to say, choose your friends carefully. Hmm, that, that sounds like the phrase of the day. How did you know? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing the, the phrase of the, the day. day, which is choose your friends carefully. That's right. Choose your friends carefully. Now, here's what I want you to do. 
I want you to take your friends through the bad friend quiz. And I'm not saying you have to sit them down and pull out a clipboard and like grill them for like 30 minutes, but I believe you should walk through each of these questions and ask yourself, have you chosen a good friend or have you chosen a bad friend? That's actually not a bad idea. Parents, you can help. You should know your child's friends. Please don't underestimate the type of influence someone can have in your child's life. If you're curious about how to start the conversation, check out the Family Connect card underneath the Parent Resource tab. I'll even throw in my bad friend quiz. Also, give us some prayer requests and tell us about your child or tell us about your family. And we may even give your kid a shout out in one of the future Extreme Life episodes. Pastor Mike? Yeah, JJ? I accept your apology. But, uh, what about Pinky? Uh, excuse me, I, I have a package here? Is there a, a, a Pastor Mike here? Yeah, yeah, uh, Pastor Mike, yes, I'm here. here. Sign here, please. Okay, great, great, thank you. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Oh, yeah, he's gonna enjoy that. Hey, hey, Pastor Mike, what's that? Okay, here you go. I hope it's air freshener in that package. Ooh. Hey, hey, Pastor Mike? Yeah? That guy really looks like Pastor James. Hmm. Nah, nah, that couldn't have been him. Not at all. Oh, man. So oh, so let me tell you, I saw how upset you were uh -huh. earlier, so I decided to do something really special for you. What? I what? Felt, what? I felt so bad about messing Binky Bear up the last uh -huh. time uh -huh. that I... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Got you Binky. a new one. Binky, Binky, Binky. You got me a <laughs> Binky. Oh, my goodness. You got me a Binky. Oh, my goodness, Pastor Mike. Thank you, man. Thank oh, you, man. man. You're really my best friend. Not a problem. Hey, remember, choose your friends carefully. We will see you next time.